Hey everybody, this is Jim Coppinger with Zen Tech Consultants. And today I wanted to talk to you about one of my favorite tools in Civil 3D. It's one of the most powerful tools out there and it's probably one of the most underused. Right? And it really is nothing more than going under the, uh, under the home tab, under the alignments. We're talking about using the create widening command on the alignments. Now, a lot of folks know you can use a create widening to create multiple lanes all right, in a roadway. But I'm going to show you how you can actually use this to do some good layout and design. It really makes your life a lot easier. All right, so just to start with, what I've got here is just a basic center line of road alignment. And I've got two standard offset alignments, just two 12-foot lanes. Simple road. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go up to the alignments. If I can find it, there it is. <laughs> alignments. And create a widening. And I'm going to create a widening on this side of the roadway, on the left side of my road. All right, now it asked me if I want to create the widening as a new alignment. I'm going to say no. I want to widen out the existing one. Right. And then I can actually pick my start and end stations. Well, in this case, I'm not going to pick them. I'm actually going to type them. I'm going to go from station 600 to station 800. It's the 200-foot kick out. Okay. Right. And it asks me for my widening offset. And the big thing to remember here is that the widening offset is measured from the center line of the road, not from the alignment we chose. Okay. So I'm going to go 25 feet out. So you see it automatically kicks me out a 12-foot lane. Right. And here on the side, I can go in. I'm going to adjust. All right, this is kind of the, the standard setup we're, we're all used to with, you know, uh, turnout lanes and bus stops and things like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this up a little bit and get a little more creative. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my radiuses down to just 5 feet. Right, and I'm going to put my transition length to only 10. If I can get that to go in there. There we go. Okay. And you see how it kind of gives me this tighter bend. All right, and I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. All right, I'll just turn these into f little 5 foot setups. And I'll turn this one to 10. Right? And just like that, you see I've got these two tight bends that come in. Right? Now, here's where it gets to be fun. So that's it. It's pretty simple. It's a little tight little turnout, bus lane kind of looking thing. But what happens when you want to do things like um, parking lots? Okay? And I watch people struggle all the time laying out and offsetting lines and creating lines where with this, once I've got that widening set, all I have to do is click on it. And you see that I can take that widening and just on this... Uh, arrow right here, I can just click on it and I can just change the offset. And I can pull my parking lot out like so. Now I've got a full alignment so I can transition roadways and corridors to, to take that in. So that's kind of nice, right? I can adjust this to whatever I need just by stretching it back and forth. So, okay, not bad. right? But more importantly, when you're dealing with widenings, right, is the idea of all of these little grip points that you have. They're really, really important. right? So you see here on each side, I've got these two diamond shapes that let me change the offset alignment, right? That allows me to go in here and just slide these back and forth along the alignment. See that I can actually just make this wider or thinner as I need to. I need to go back the other direction, right? Bring it back out, make it a wider setup, however I want that to be, right? And I can do that on either side. Now the real benefit here is that I can actually go in and I can split this. So if you've got like a stepped or staggered parking lot, you see the plus sign? I can add additional widenings to the existing widening. Just by hitting this sign, you see it breaks it in half and gives me two widenings. Now I can take each one and stretch them out separately in any direction that I need. And then I can continue on. If I want to add additional widenings, I can break this one and make it a three-tiered step if that's what I need to do. Okay. Now, you'll also see you get these white circles here. Right? And this lets you go in and actually start to adjust the radiuses and the bends in and out. So you see it says click to get your transition grips. And you see when I click here, it gives me the grip points on either end. Right? So I can go here and I can change the transition length. And you see I can actually slope this in. Right? I can adjust the radial bend if I need to bring that out to more of a, a, of a circular structure or, or, or whatever I might need here. Kind of like so. I need the flex out. Okay? Same thing over here. I can get the, the curves here. Right? I can adjust the bend in. Okay, Same thing here. Right? If I need to kind of stagger and, and set this all, no issues. See, I can create shapes of any kind. And because this is an alignment, after I'm done, I can go back into my geometry editor and go up here and I can actually start to adjust all of the points and the radiuses and the bends on this layout with no problem. I can adjust the radiuses, change you know, the lengths, whatever I need to do on each of those segments. Really, really powerful, very quick and simple layout tool that is in alignment. This isn't just a polyline, okay? Oh, and by the way, notice, when I added those secondary widenings, I also get additional ones here so I can actually adjust the lengths 
to slide the full length instead of just the transition lines, I can actually slide the overall length and maintain the same angle structure right, to different locations as I slide it, like so. Okay? Really powerful, simple tool that works with an alignment so that I can actually now use this as a target for my corridors. Great tool. Hope you get some good use out of that.